Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. Have you seen the new Godzilla Minus One movie yet? <laughs> I highly recommend it. Um, yes, so, but today we're going to focus on a yearly recap and we're going to come to a conclusion for my, my whiskey of the year for 2023. So if you like this show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thanks so much for the Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. All right, we're going to take some, we're going to slowly clear the table off, and I'm just going to do a quick recap, and we're going to end up with my whiskey of the year. Um... Indri, Trini, I reviewed this. Um, for the money, it's a great Indian uh, blend, okay? Um, single malt, but a blend. Um, and w when this first came out, I was able to get it for around $45, which is an absolute steal. There's such a demand for it now that the prices are between $50 and $60 now, generally speaking. Um, but yeah, this is um, re really nice, um, especially for the price. And then, um, and, and that injury, by the way, this is one of my most watched videos of my entire channel. Um, it's in the thousands, low thousands, but it's highly watched, huge demand. Um, for that injury trini and and the one that I reviewed was batch two okay so so there's different batches and I'm sure there's some batch variations all right um, Aaron 18 could have been my whiskey of the year the only reason I didn't I had to eliminate this was because this is an older bottling and Aaron 18 um, is subject you know to batch variations in some of the Aaron 18s uh, like sherry bombs and then some are not so like this older one that i reviewed um it's a mixture of ex bourbon and sherry um very nice um yeah i have, haven't tried the newer ones but i really like this one um a lot um craig Alecky 13 could be my whiskey of the year every single year you can still find this i can still find this for 50 dollars in my area um, what a great bang for buck. Um, absolutely love this. I have multiple bottles of backup for this, um, because the price is just too good to be true. Um, Glen Turret 12 year old. Um, I might've reviewed this more than 12 months ago. It might've been towards the end of last year. And this Glen Turret 12, it's a, it's a sherry bomb. But it's really opened up nice. And from day one, I preferred the 12 Glen Turret 12 over the 15, believe it or not. Um, and this is this Glen Turret 12. Um, you know, each year there's a different batch. Um, but if you can find this, if you're a sherry lover, old school sherry, um, this is a really, really nice, uh, a nice bottle. All right. What else? Yeah, Kill Karen 12, okay? Kill Karen 12 could be my whiskey of the year every year as well. It's just so damn hard to find, and the prices in the United States are around $100 a bottle and and, and up, okay? So um, for those reasons, it's uh, being eliminated. Um, make some room here. Yeah, um, I really like this old particular Jura 12-year-old, um, which I re all these I've reviewed, okay, so you can check my archives. This Jura 12-year-old, K&L exclusive, oh my God, I absolutely love this bottle. Um, but it's long gone, and it's an independent bottling, and it's just so hard to find. Um, but I really, really enjoyed that bottle a lot. Still have a little bit left. And then, you know, Brook Laddie is probably in my top three 
to four distilleries, probably my top three distilleries. Um, you can't go wrong with uh, any of the, the beer barleys or the Isla, or the Isla barleys. Um, very nice. You're going to pay a slight premium over the Classic Laddie. Classic Laddie is nice as well. Um, but I think you get a little more... You're getting the Isla Bali and the Beer Bali. Um, but either one of those could have been a Whiskey of the Year as well. Um, but I chose not to. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we're getting low here. Um, Kilholman, 100% Isla. This is batch 12. Um, it's the only one I've reviewed and opened so far. Um, actually, I did have a sample of the um, 11th uh, edition as well. I really like this. It's 100% um, Isla barley, lightly peated, uh, 20 ppms. And, and that 20 ppm, it's very light. It's very well inter integrated. Um, you get a little bit of peat. You're getting the, the barley and the, uh, and the fruitiness. I really, really, really enjoy the Kilhoman 100%. Isla Bali, 12th edition. Um, I have an 11 that I haven't opened up yet, and I have a 13, the new 13. Um, I, won't, I will be getting soon. Um, I'm very look, very much looking forward to opening and comparing those. Um, and then we have uh, Lafroy Karchis the, of 2023. This is their White Port in Madeira. I bought a backup bottle of this, and... I, I really enjoy this particular bottle. Um, I, I do like Lefroig, but this Karchus is one of my favorites in the last few years. Um, absolutely delicious. Um, it, it retails for around $95 to $100. Um, uh, but geez, uh, really, really enjoyed that. So now we're down to two bottles. Tobamori 12. And Glen Gary, 12 year old. Um, again, I reviewed all these. Um, it was a tough, a tough choice. Um, I really enjoy the Glen Gary um, a lot, but um, it leans more towards the fruitiness, kind of like a, a little bit of the like the Arden American cash drink that I've reviewed. Um, I think Glengarry is a great distillery. Absolutely love this. Um, but I had to go with um, the Tobamori 12 as my whiskey of the year. I reviewed this bottle. In my review, I thought that this, because the bottling codes are, are tough to decipher. This is either a 2021 release or a 2022 release. In my previous review of this, I said that it was probably a 2022 but from looking at the codes i think it might be a 2021 bottling um the thing with tobamori so i really like this a lot um thoroughly enjoy it and it has a little bit of when it first came out in 2019 the tobamori 12 they discontinued the 10 year old 2019 they came out with the 12 year old and they touted it as being all ex bourbon but since then, I think they've incorporated a little bit of sherry in there because there's definitely a little sherry influence in this. This non-chill filtered, no coloring added. Um, it is subject to batch variation, just like the Lechag 10. There's some batch variations. Um, this is... Uh, some people don't gravitate towards it. And, and that was my reluctance to even buy it because i've heard so many mixed reviews about it but i really 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 am, am enjoying this bottle and i've been savoring it because i don't have a backup bottle in, in my area this goes for close to a hundred dollars but in the uk it's readily available for around fifty dollars so it's half the price in in the uk um so and it's challenging to find in my area it's um even if you can find Lechag 10-year-old, they are challenged to get stock. 
in my understanding, Tobomori is ramping up production more towards the, the Lechegs because those are really outselling the, the Tobomori 12. So maybe that's reason why the price is a little bit higher. They're harder to get. There's, they're making less of them. That's my understanding. Um, but just, I'm not going to give it a review, but a quick recap. Check out my review on it. Um, it is a bit pricey. It is a challenge to find. Um, but you can certainly order it and have it shipped from overseas. You can get two bottles for the price of one. Um, on the nose, you have a little bit of, you have butterscotch, little vegetal, um, perfume, floral, honey, a little bit of melon. There's a lot going on here. I could just keep picking out notes. The palate is a sweetness, it's fruitiness in there. There's an oak spice. Bit, it's also a bit nuttiness, a bit cocoa which leads me to believe that there is some sherry in there. Um, there's that white pepper, a little, a little funk in there, that white pepper, oak spice. And the finish is a solid medium, um, medium to medium plus. Um, I really enjoy this. It's my whiskey of the year. Um, I rated this score-wise between an 89 and a 90, and I still stick with that. Um, at some point, I will get uh, a backup bottle. Um, so, Tobamori 12 is my whiskey of the year. And uh, it's my whiskey of the year. And I hope it can be yours too. I think, um, give it a shot. Um, and, see, and see if you like it. All right. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. Go see Godzilla minus one. You won't regret it. It's my opinion, it's the best Godzilla made movie made, except the original. Um, this is all in Japanese uh, with English subtitles. Um, really well done. It's also a, it's a very good movie that has Godzilla in it. Okay, so there you go. Um, so hats off to you all. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year coming up. And We'll see you soon, folks. Take care.